Welcome back. We have Jeff Parker here who's going to tell us some of the latest numbers like we normally do. Hello. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, we've been we've been doing this uh, pretty much every Monday and Friday and we will continue to do so until maybe we don't have any more numbers to talk about. Well, Wouldn't that, that would, be nice? That would, that would really be nice. And obviously we're progressing in the... Um, the vaccine coming out, uh, right. although you know, obviously very slow, and and now they got to prioritize what groups. And as I mentioned last time, we're, we've been in contact with the Orange County uh, Task Force on vaccines right. to say, hey, the village is an important place. It's a high risk place. So most of our residents are 65 and more, so we believe we should be a high priority in that you know category 1B, as I used to call it, uh, right mm -hmm. after the medical people and doctors and nurses and hospitals and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're tracing that down, we're, we're, we keep running that down, talking to our state legislative people. Um, so we're keeping our fingers crossed that they've heard our message. We're even trying to see if we can get um, on the task force and be a member oh. of that task force. And, and that idea. would be just more voice of towards course. that. Um, yeah. So that, um, uh, looking at that um, vaccine coming out um, at the very first stages, the this end of this month and then into January and February. So, yeah, we'll still be on TV Monday and Friday talking about that. I'm sure right. probably more than than numbers, um, hopefully. Yes, well, that will be great. And as soon as we get more information about distribution, where you can have the vaccine, you know, maybe how it, you know, how it makes you feel, you know, those types of things. Because there was some discussion about it, about having allergic reactions. But again, that is remains to be seen from the majority of the population to see how they react to it. Exactly. That would be a, a great segue into that when we get right. When we can do it. Yep. Absolutely. So going to the numbers, as you can see up there, we're still pretty high in the in the COVID positive cases. We're 1,500. The other day we were at 2,000. So we're we're way up compared to what we were uh, mm -hmm. a couple of months ago. But again, um, 22,000 tests. So a lot of tests are being done out there. We'll talk about tests in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, um, seven uh, additional um, deaths reported as of yesterday. And the, um, the, the six of those residents are just in resident, normal residential neighborhoods yeah. and, and, and one in a skilled nursing facility. So mm -hmm. it's showing that it's impacting everywhere here. Right. So uh, I, I'd be careful. Probably the big one, though, that we kind of keep going back to is uh, look at the hospitalization rates in the ICU. We're right. over now, now over a thousand um, hospital beds, um, people being hospitalized. That's uh, a very big number. And that's, of course, why we um, have dropped below that 15 percent for, you know, unfortunately Southern California right and ICU cases being at 257 those are those are pretty much our highest numbers that we've seen and they continue to rise so mm -hmm. um, the risk is uh, do we get to a point where we're uh, in in not just in Orange County but in all of Southern California going to run out of beds and having to right. transition to using other hospital beds right. for just COVID issues well, Santa Ana is um, experiencing an awful lot of numbers, high numbers, and it's people who are going into the hospitals. And um, something that I read today in the paper is that they're, they are having to divert some ambulances. So if you have just a regular ER issue, you are now being diverted. And that is what I think the majority of the concern was, is that one hospital gets totally inundated, and then you're going to transport them to, you know, Tustin or wherever, and it's just going to start spreading wider and wider, right? And that transport is the, the key to it, because they, just as you said, they, you don't want to have to be in an ambulance and go 30 minutes to, to get to right. a hospital that can take care of you. Uh, you want to go to that local hospital. Um, right. It's an emergency. That's what it's for, right? Exactly. And so, yeah, if that one hospital is full and we got to take you to another one, that's why they, this is so critical in trying to right. get those numbers back up. Right. So you see the importance. And I don't think we actually realized until you start reading and hearing about instances that are happening. I mean, you can talk all you want about right. numbers, right? But then once you start to hear about it actually happening, no, that's a perfect example. That's a perfect example of what we don't want to have happen. And so it's, um, again, going back to our um, community here and all of Orange County, all the state, you know, wear the masks, social distance right now. Right. Really, really be careful because yeah. it, it has such a negative impact. Right, exactly, exactly. All right. 
Now we can go to the, oh gosh, so, we jumped so, again. Yeah, so again, right. unfortunately, now we're up to 30.3 um, on the, uh, out of 100,000 um, are showing positive cases. Um, the testing positive rate is at 10.6. Um, mm. Again, the, the, the third one there, the health ec, um, quartile is actually lagging now, um, which is, I guess a, I'll say it, it's a good sign um, because really that positivity rate of 30 is gonna be what we have to get down yeah. um, in order to affect that hospitalization rate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, with regards yeah. to Laguna Woods, our numbers are up again. Um, okay. So um, on the on the 7th, when, I, when we talked about the 6th and the 7th we were talking, we were at 114 mm -hmm. cases and we're now at 127. Wow, so in that's just a week. quite a bit of a jump yeah. for Laguna Woods in and of itself. And again, to the residents here in the village, this is Laguna Woods community, not just the village. Right. Um, right. We are a big part of that, realized, right. and unfortunately, we don't have the ability to break those numbers down. Wish we did. Um, our death. Um, um, the good news on that is that state stable hasn't changed since we talked last time, which was okay. 11, 11 deaths have occurred in the community of Laguna Woods. Um, but it, that hasn't changed, so that's, right. that's a good number. Okay, well that that's, is keeping it low, thank goodness. Um, all right, well is there any other COVID stuff other than numbers what, or, or what, we're testing? Okay, yeah, so we're gonna testing jump into kids. testing. So, so um, you know, at the beginning you had the Orange County Health uh, Care Agency .com up there and their phone number. One of the things that they've now come up with is there is a testing kit that you can call them up. Um, it is um, a saliva testing kit. Okay. And with that saliva testing kit, you can call up, you can get it. Uh, if you call them up and ask for one, uh, they're giving it to every resident. Again, I think the importance is, is do you feel like you need to get tested? Mm -hmm. um, I, I wouldn't necessarily sit, recommend it for anybody just to go get tested because um, they're going to over, overload the system probably. Right. But if you have are having any symptoms, you're feeling uncomfortable about going out to one of the testing sites, then you can get a home care test from OC Health um, that gets delivered basically the next day to Man, you. And that's great. Um, and it takes about three to five days to get the results. Okay. And it is a saliva test, so it's not one in which it's swabbed um, through your nose or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So the accuracy um, is, is something that they're still trying to deal with, and I, I want to make sure our residents understand that. But it is another option, and yeah. it is uh, something that you can take. And uh, if it's that big a concern to you, I'd highly recommend that you go ahead and get one. Um, yeah. If you can get to a te formal testing site, theirs is probably a little more precise. Yeah. Um, but it, both of them are pretty good, and, and this one's pretty good. I just don't want to people to think, because there has been talk about the false negatives, you know, and you get that. But if you're concerned and you're staying at home mm -hmm. and you don't want to leave, this is a great opportunity yeah. to get it sent to you directly to your house and you can send it back. Yeah, and one thing that you definitely want to do is follow directions because there are some specifics regarding the at-home saliva test. Right. So you really do have to follow the directions because pretty much anything can alter those uh, results if you don't follow directions, just like anything else, you know, you want to make sure you follow those. And, and we were talking before we came on, it's, it's um, if anybody's ever done Ancestry.com or 23andMe, it's very similar kind of style. And so you, you're, you said it um, precisely is that if you, you have to put the right amount of saliva in, you have yeah. to do it, follow the instructions pretty detailed to make sure it's accurate. Right. Right, good. Well, another option, like you said, and especially for our residents who have been so wonderful at staying at home and following the directions. And I know we always say wear your mask and social distance, but man, that distancing is really important. It you is. Know, for sure. It, um, and we are, um, as we know, we're under that uh, new regulations from the state. So we're making sure that with our recreation that we're uh, we went out and did new markings and uh, with regards to one of our classes and everything. Yeah. So we have additional distancing and requirements. And like I said, this afternoon we'll be sending out blasts and some additional information with regards to what's critical wearing mask, where you have to do it, where, where you can not have to do it on outside activities. Perfect. Well, we appreciate the information. Have a great weekend. You too. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. And if you want more information about the saliva test, uh, at-home saliva, you can call the uh, Orange County Health Hotline at 800-564-8448,
or you can go to ochealthinfo.com forward slash COVID test. We'll be right back after this with Sue Margolis. Stick to